How are you guys? Very well, sir. How are you? Good. Does the lighting look okay? Lighting's fantastic, mate. You look beautiful. You look gorgeous. Okay. <laughs> it's 4 a.m. here, so it's hard to look good. Oh, you're joking. I didn't realize it was so early. Oh, my God. You're it's fine. It's fine. I'm I'm up this time. I, I do voiceover work, so I have clients all over the world. So I'm up this time. Oh, well, every day. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, my name's Dan. This is Kaz. Yeah. As you, no, I love I, I love your stuff. I I watch your YouTube link. Oh, thank you very much. Thank oh, you. good. We uh we we try and put a smile on people's faces. That's that's about it, really. That's right. That's right. So um, I I got your comment on the uh, on the Dax video to be a man, and yeah, uh, appreciate you stopping by and having a look, mate. So uh, you were the actor uh in that film is that right you were the, the the gentleman at the beginning in the in the truck i can't hide myself i don't expect you to understand i just hope i can straight away straight away it's got the tear jokers vibes and explain what it's like to be a man it's a lonely road and they don't care about it's not about how you feel, but what you provide inside that home. Oh, wow. Oh. Yeah, I was the guy in the truck. Um, kind of a funny story. You know, I'm a, I'm a freelance voice and on uh, camera actor, so I'm constantly looking for work. <laughs> and... Uh, I was sitting at my desk, this was in early March, and I got a, a email from a casting director in Los Angeles because I'm on this site called Casting Networks okay. where you put your picture and your videos. And And she saw that I lived in Kansas. I live in Wichita, Kansas, and that they were going to be filming this music video in Salina, Kansas, which is about an hour north. And she asked if I was available, and I said, yeah, it sounded like a fun project. I really haven't done too many music videos. And I really didn't know that much about Dax, uh, to be honest with you. I, I looked him up a little bit, um, but it was, um, yeah, it was it was quite an experience. When I, when I got up there, I wasn't really sure what I was going to be doing. And uh, then he had me get in the truck. He said, okay, I want you to cry. I said, <laughs> <Jeez>. <laughs> On cue, go. Uh, yeah, go. <laughs> Did he have so to I reached, a little? <laughs> so I, I reached deep in my reservoir of painful experiences, <laughs> watched a few videos that I knew that would uh, would make me emotional, and I was able to uh, I was able to to pull it off. I think. Nice, nice. So, um, you didn't know or not a lot about Dax before you started, then. We've been following for no. some time, haven't we? No, I, I, I really didn't. Um, I was amazed, though, about what a following he has on YouTube. I think, um, collectively, he has over a billion views. Wow. So he so he's really got a following. And he does, um, I had a chance to visit with him um, on the day that we did the shoot. And he has a Kansas connection. He grew up in Canada, but he was recruited to a high school here in Wichita, Kansas, uh, to play basketball the school recruits from all over the world and then he later played at a small college uh here in wichita and uh, i know his coach there um oh, wow. uh, pretty well wow. yeah so small world it is a small and, world. and the coach was telling me that dax was always a very cerebral very deep guy yeah uh, and that's what i found too i mean he's only 28 years old but he really is is quite an amazing guy he's an, he's he's definitely an old soul and I, I really respect the fact that he writes about real issues some of the issues that he's gone through and what's been so great about this project is the the impact it's had on, on you know on all people but particularly men yeah um daniel your reaction i thought was very honest because if 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 men are really being honest we've all been there yeah um I, so yeah. many people have commented, you know, oh, I've been that guy in the truck. And I have too. Yeah. <laughs> I have too. So um I, I it's it's been really fun to be part of a project that's had such an impact. Well, the uh the, the video spoke to me on 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 so many levels, and the the Dax has got a, a fantastic way of 
using words to touch emotion. And um, one of the one of the one of the messages of that video, I mean, there's so many, but the the, the core one is is the struggle of being a man. So to yeah. say, the the pressure, the well, mostly the pressure and and the, and 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 uh, judgment as such, but the the judgment comes from how we deal with the pressure. But the pressure that put on all young men into becoming a man is is vast. I mean, yeah. nobody prepared me for my thirties, for example. I, life seemed to be brilliant up until about twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> life was amazing, <laughs> and, and then, then had to face the reality. <laughs> and then twenty five hit, and responsibilities came on, and then yeah. uh, look after other people, and then eventually kids come on the line. And, and and work and career and family and friendships and partners and they, they, there's so much and equally women have their, their a similar struggle in a different lane yeah. but but the the struggle of a man I feel he articulated perfectly yeah I no I, I think you you summarized it very well I, I think a lot of men have um, feel like they've been forgotten in this day and age right. um, there's, there's not and I think that's why this song and the video has resonated because it, it it speaks to men and makes them feel like they are, uh, you know, being recognized. They are being supported because you're right. I mean, like it or not, society judges men on how successful they are with career, what kind of provider they are. Um, it's, you know, it, it's, it's, it's always been that way and it probably always will be for, for better or for worse. I, f I find there are three types of men. You get men who can protect that can't necessarily provide. You get men who can provide that can't necessarily protect. And you get the small percentage of men who can provide and protect. Yeah. And I feel like he summed up all three types of men in that video. Yeah, there was no single. Yeah. Uh, no. Was, it was a. It was everyone was included in that because you all yeah. have points in your life where you you are that you know you have those struggles. So. Indeed. And I, I think the the rest of the men that he used in the video, none of whom were actors, really. Um, so they were they were they were yeah they were they were real guys who um, who I believe lived in in that town of Salina. See, the director of the video is from Salina, Kansas. So we actually um, filmed it at his grandparents' house. Oh wow! Uh, so, so they traveled. Yeah, they all of the the crew mostly lives in Los Angeles but they traveled back to Kansas and, you know, they were able to get those really nice uh, horseback riding scenes, yeah. uh, um, which, you know, Kansas has a, has a lot of that. So it, yeah, it, it, it worked out really well. Anthony, are you familiar with Jordan Peterson at all? Uh, of who? Jordan Peterson, Dr. Jordan Peterson. He's a, psychologist. yeah, he's a Canadian, isn't he? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. he, he talks about, um, I, I'm a huge fan of his and, uh, he talks about the, the struggle of being a man and particularly, um, when people challenge men in general, and he comes back with the reply that, you know, what would we do without men? You know, uh, men build the roads, they build the buildings, they put the electricity in the plumbing, it, everything is built within reason, but most things are built by men. And it feels right. like that video encapsulated yeah. the effort that men have to go through on top of the struggles of being at home as well. And I know he upsets a lot of people too with uh, with some of his stuff. But um, yeah, you're right. I mean, it's almost become taboo to say this is what men do. Um, you know, you're met with that uh, those terms like talk toxic masculinity and 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 that type of thing in this day and age and um yeah and again as we've talked about i think this is why the video has had such an impact because it does it does boost men and it does show you know their struggles and, and what they do you know provide and 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 what they do for their families I mean, as a woman, I find it incredible. And I almost felt like I needed to apologize to every man out there. <laughs> it was that's the impact it had on me. OK, I felt like I had to apologize to everybody for not listening, not taking things on board. And it, it broke my heart. The video was so powerful, you know. So as a woman, I found that um, 
we need to listen more. We need to commute. I think communication is the massive key here because yeah. men are terrible and don't take this the wrong way at communicating when there's something wrong. You just go into, I need to deal with this. I have to do this mode. And that makes us crazy. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I think my question to you is, uh, what, how's the, how are, have other women responded to the video and to you? after you filmed it um kind of the same way that you did like it was kind of an awakening hey we really have to be more aware yeah. uh, of what of what men are going through men uh, you know men tend to be the 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 forgotten gender uh, sometimes especially in this day and age yeah. so um it was almost like a wake-up call uh for 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 a lot of women i know who, who've who seen the video yeah. just kind of like what you're saying it seems like the last 20 years or so maybe even longer maybe 30 years there seems to have been this big female empowerment movement yeah. the feminist movement which i'm all for you know we we should empower everybody yeah. not you know men and women and, and everyone in between it, yeah. um, but i feel like off the back of the, this large movement of female empowerment the male empowerment has been lost it's almost like it's been dumbed Gosh. down a bit to make this voice bigger uh, whereas I right. feel like now Dax hopefully might start the movement to bring back the male voice. Right. And and um it's really resonated with people all over the all over the world. I got a, a comment from a guy I believe in was in Uzbekistan, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So um yeah, it, it really is it's resonating with um, you know, particularly men, but women too. Um, it doesn't matter where you're from, but um, it's uh, it's it's really hit everybody. Yeah. Now, uh, Anthony, tell me, you're 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 an actor and a and a voice actor. Is is there anything else we might have seen you in? What, any, any projects you're working on at the moment? Um, well, there's a movie coming out called Reagan. Um, it's yeah. a, a biography of, of the life of Ronald Reagan. The actor Dennis Quaid is playing Reagan. Um, I had a role in that as a news anchor and a reporter. I don't know if you had a chance to see my bio, but I spent about 20 years as a television news anchor and reporter oh, in uh, six cities, um, uh, you know, all across America. Um, so, and then after I, I left TV news, I began my own freelance uh, voiceover and on camera business. I grew up in Los Angeles um, and I was exposed to the entertainment industry uh, at a very young age. My dad was a, a screenwriter. He wrote for uh, a lot of famous American shows like Hogan Tiro's, Andy Griffith, uh, Mary Tyler Moore. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. So, and I went to school with people like Rob Lowe and Charlie Sheen. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> in, in, yeah. In, in so I was exposed to acting, but I always wanted to be a sportscaster or a news uh, anchor. So I got my degree in broadcasting, but after graduating college, I said, well, these, you know, these guys, Charlie and Rob are, are making it big. So I stayed around Los Angeles and, and tried the acting thing. I, uh, I was the bachelor on the dating game uh, way back when, <laughs> had some small roles. Yeah, that that was that was a unique experience. Um, had some small <laughs> had some small roles in other stuff, but then uh, the, you know the acting business is very tough, especially out in Los Angeles. Everyone's an actor, yeah. so I, I packed my bags and I said I needed a regular job, and that's when I began my uh, TV news career. And I ended up I ended up here in Wichita, Kansas. This was my sixth city that I lived in with news. And uh, I had enough of news. You know, news is a tough business too. You see a lot of bad stuff. Yeah, I was gonna say, um, not a lot of good news, is that? <laughs> no, not a lot of good news, uh, especially here in America lately. That's yeah. a whole other topic. But um, is yeah, that what so you left I, then, ultimately? Yeah, I yeah, le yeah I left it. it. Um, my wife and I bought a business, and then I started my uh, my voice acting and um, and freelance on camera business. Oh, have, he has a great voice. You have a great voice. I could listen to you for hours. <laughs> oh, thank you. 
mate, I, I, I feel like I want you to, to narrate a biography of some kind, like yes. an audio book. <laughs> it's a fantastic voice. Is, is it, forgive me for asking, but I, I feel like I want to ask, is, is that a, a voice that is just complete, this is just how you talk? Or is there a, like a, a, an interview voice, a screen voice that you have? No, this is pretty much my voice. I'll never forget fantastic. being in elementary school and we had to record ourselves and you know i was like what 11 or 12 years old and, and we played it back and i was like my god my voice is low and this is what yeah, even as i've got a <laughs> i've got a funny story are, are you guys familiar with the uh, the late uh, singer barry white of course. I know how low it is. of course yeah. i was interviewing a woman one time in news and of course it was about some horrific subject it was like you know probably about a murder or something and in the middle of the interview she turned me and she said honey you sound like the white Barry white, <laughs> the white, Barry white. <laughs> that's brilliant <laughs> so cool it's, it's a tremendous voice I absolutely could listen to it all day indeed oh thank you I appreciate it yeah no this is my this is this is pretty much my voice now I do you know depending on what you're voicing you've got to lift it a little bit but this is pretty much the the tone of my voice so even at 4 a.m or 4 15 a.m i know i can't the time there well thank you so much for getting up this early mate i really appreciate yeah. that i didn't i didn't realize the time dif difference was that that extreme but oh no no don't worry about it no i go to bed early i get up early um you know it, it, it it's it's perfectly fine look I, I, you know, I, I welcome all kinds of opportunities getting to talk to you guys. You've got a great following, you know, over in the UK. So, you know, you've got to embrace all opportunities. So that's, that's my philosophy. You couldn't agree. You know, with especially, you. especially, in, especially in our business, right. Which is so difficult. Life is an opportunity, mate. You've got to take it. That's right. That's right. If you don't take these opportunities then someone else will. Yeah. That's, it's that simple really, isn't it? Yeah. That's right. That's right. So, so tell me, tell me more about the 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 day or the days of shooting. Kaz and I have done a a few films and whatnot, so we, we're we're familiar with the on set experience. But give us your experience. Was it a one day shoot, a two day shoot, a multiple day shoot? Well, for the video, um, it, it was a multiple day shoot. I I was there um, from early afternoon until evening for for my role. Um, yeah, so I got up there and, and again, I, re I really wasn't sure um, uh, what they were going to have me do. Um, and, uh, you know, then I, I chatted with the director and then we, we did that truck scene. And shortly after we did that scene where I'm coming through the door, embracing my, you know, my, my little daughter and, and family. And, and then we took a break and uh, we waited until evening to fill the scenes, uh, to film the scenes when I was you know, having a drink to try to calm down from my uh, my difficult day. The, so, sorry, the, the the scene in the video where you're having the the whiskey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And got it, got it. And um, did yeah. you did you get to meet any any of the other actors on on the screen, or were they all shot separately? Um. Well, you know the the the, the little girl and um, and and her mother. We we got a chance to chat a little bit, and yeah, and then there was like I said, there was an opportunity to uh, to to talk with Dax too. Um, I don't think there was I, I I don't think there were any other actors or any other men um, uh, on the day that I was doing my shooting. Um, I think I I think you know I was the the uh, the man for that day star of the show so yeah. to speak uh, uh, right yeah. so. absolutely rightly so to you is how do, how has it affected you and people towards you from doing this video has it had an impact on you and how you um approach relationships or people approach relationships with yourself um you know i i think um uh, when situations might arise with with my family you know it's a it's a good reminder to be communicative about anything that i'm going through um you know like i said being in the acting business it's a very volatile up and down business you mm -hmm. you could audition for a hundred projects and not book one yeah. so um I'm, I'm very aware of letting my wife and um i, I still got um a, a couple of kids in the house um 
so I'm I'm aware of of letting them know what 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 I what what what's going on with my business, and they know too because a lot of times I'm telling everyone be quiet. I've got to record uh, <laughs> yeah. some, some work. My student, we have basements here in Kansas uh, because of tornadoes. This is where you come if there's a tornado, and this is where I record. So. Uh, you can hear a lot of stomping upstairs. So. <laughs> <laughs> they, they they know when I'm working. Yeah. But no, I, I think I think it's a good reminder for all of us to be aware of what we're going through and and to be communicative. Because if you're holding it in, everyone's going. What's what's going on with you? You know, they're and 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 trying to guess what somebody's going through is not a fun thing to do. So yeah, it has been a good reminder to 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 be you know more of an open book. How how long did you get to spend with Dax? What was it? Was it just a, a brief chat by the coffee, or did you get a chance to sit down and have a talk? Um, yeah, we had a chance to you know you know how it is. There's a lot of downtime uh, on these projects. They're changing the lighting, et cetera. So yeah, we had we had uh, we had we had a good time uh, chatting. Um, uh, about his, you know, living here in Wichita. So we had that in common. And now, you know, he, I think he lives a good part of the time out in Los Angeles. And so, you know, we were able to compare notes about Los Angeles. And uh, um, yeah, he told me about some of his work, how he likes to, uh, you know, write about these real life issues, that, which, you know, separates him from a lot of artists, because uh, you know, you know, I, I, I haven't heard of that many artists delving into the topics that he does, especially men, yeah. you know, so I think that is, is what makes him unique. But but again, I think I said this earlier, I was really struck by what an old soul he is. I didn't feel like I was talking to somebody much younger than me. He's uh, wow. he's very he's he's very cerebral. Um, and um, and I, I, I was blown away, too, when I saw the, the finished product. Um, I, I really didn't know what to expect. But then when it dropped, I think it dropped like on April 14th. And I got an email about it. And I looked at it. I, I was blown away by it. I mean, it, they, they did a really good job. Yeah, I they agree. Really I yeah. agree. It was, yeah. It's uh, again, I, I'm just going to reiterate what I said earlier. I think it, I think it will be the catalyst, a spark. Mm -hmm. That will will introduce a lot more songs on the topic. I think it'll inspire a lot of young artists to talk about the reality of of being a man. Yeah, and what I, another thing I think is really interesting about this song it, it's um, I think at one point I looked at it was like in the top twenty on iTunes country charts because it's kind of got that country vibe to yeah. it too. That's yeah. what really struck a lot of people too. The tone of his voice in it. Um, so it was just uh, it was very unique all the way around. Compared to his other songs, he's he's very much a rapper. Mm, it's very different, isn't it? Yeah, very, very much different. a rapper. And uh, I'd recommend if you if you haven't listened to uh, Self Proclaimed Four, Self Proclaimed Four. That's uh, one of my favourite songs mm. that he's done. It's a very it's a very upbeat, motivational gym gym tune, if you like. Yeah. Um, so this this one was was very very different, uh, which I think is what what struck a chord, mm. so to speak. How did you two become acquainted with his work? Oh, with his work. Uh, so I, the gym, really. Yeah. So uh, I, I do a bit of weight training here in the UK, and uh, he came on on a on a on a, on a uh, what's playlist, it called a playlist. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, oh, that guy sounds good. I'll check out some of his other stuff. And we've been looking yeah. for a year now. I've been looking yeah. at stuff yeah, for a, bit, a year or two. Yeah, yeah, because you you introduced him to me, so he passed it on to me. And we That's how it worked, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So did. Yeah. Uh, give you any sort of little bit of an inclination of what why, why he wrote this song as in what was his experiences to catalyst this song i you know he really he didn't get into that specifically oh. but i have a feel i have I'm, a feeling um you know like like all men he's he's experienced the pressures of uh, of being a man and um again you know he delves into these serious topics so i'm sure that he's observed um you know his own struggles and 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 struggles of, of guys that he's known and you know kind of compiled uh kind of compiled that um you know he's, he's just a very observant guy 
Yeah. You me- you mentioned earlier that he's uh, he's got a, a wise head on the shoulders, and I, 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 could, I couldn't agree more with you. He's very mature for a, for a young man, and yeah. uh, he's ten years younger than I am. And you know, he's he's saying words which I would find difficult mm. to express. Do you find that the definition of a man, so to speak, or or one once a boy goes through a series of troubles and difficulties once they overcome them are they then defined as a man do you think a man is defined by his struggles but also his successes yeah i think a man is defined about how well he gets off the mat and and and, and bounces back um because we're all going to have setbacks right but it's like uh, you know, how do you respond to those setbacks? You know, personally, I've always tried to use setbacks as a as a motivating force. Um, I too, I, I I work out every day, and I, I think working out is a is a good example. Uh, no matter what you're going through, um, you know, we can all dig down and and my my philosophy is you got to control what you can control in life because the vast amount of things are out of our control. Um, so, you know, working out is a, is, is, a, is a great example of that. And I try to do that no matter what I'm going through. Uh, you know, you might not feel like working out, um, but, um, you know, getting off the mat, getting back in there and, um, and trying to overcome it um, yeah. is so critical. So, yeah, I, I, think, I, I think that's a, a good way of looking at it. I think um, every, like I said, everyone's going to have setbacks, athletes, a- anyone, but how would, how do they respond to that adversity? Exercise in particular is a, is a really good connection and metaphor for struggle because particularly squats, squats, um, I have a, have a, a good fascination with because as an exercise, it also carries the metaphor of how much weight can you put on your back and still stand up? Yeah. And, yeah. And, and I think that really is the squat really is the, 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 a man's exercise, because the more that he can train with squats, the, the bigger the load he can carry, the better it, it transpires into reality. Right. Also- right. And it's a real power exercise too. It's like, Literally. once you get down, once you get down that squat, you know, are you going to be able to stand back up? You got to <laughs> really reach down. Yeah. Indeed. So, mate, tell me, is your future? Are you are you going down the music video route more, or is was that just a one off? Where where were you looking to take your career out of interest? You know, I'm open to uh, a, any opportunity. Um, you, you know, as an actor, you can't be too choosy. So, I'm I'm constantly auditioning for you know films, uh, television, commercials. Um, I work for a, a local show here uh, in Wichita uh, on uh, PBS called Positively Kansas, where we do all positive news. Oh, brilliant. So I'm, I'm still I'm still involved uh, uh, journalistically uh, w- with some projects. Um, I do I do profiles of people and uh, places uh, for that show. So yeah, I'm I, 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 I'm open to uh, not, nothing really in particular, but um, anything that comes my way, I'm always because I did again with this, this music video is such a, a good a, a example. When I got the email and I went there to do the shoot, I had no idea that millions of people around the world uh would be would be you know taking the video in and the impact that would that it would have that's why i really like interacting with people on um on youtube uh, channels like yours because um you know it's it, it's it's been incredible to see, and everyone's been very complimentary of my performance it's not like <laughs> it was fantastic <laughs> well i mean it's not like it was some you know academy award winning performance but i mean i i have to say i was very pleased that it, it did impact people well you, you saw from our reaction that opening scene with you in the truck mate straight away you got me i was just like fuck this is going to be a deep a raw yeah. emotional connection so i thought you yeah. were fantastic mate I, I, was, I was hooked straight away with your performance in particular yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you. I re- I really appreciate that. Yeah, I, uh, I I I I was careful to take a few minutes and really tried to get center and, like I said, focus on some past pain that I've had, um, and and really tried to, uh, 
you know, as an actor, you're always trying to place yourself in 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 the in a position where you've been yourself before. And, and like I said, I've been that guy in the truck. Um, you know, I don't mind saying it. Um, I think we all have, if we're being honest. There's not a man that hasn't. Any man that no. hasn't cried by himself is a liar. Yeah. No. And the older I get, I feel like the more emotional I become. I mean, when I was younger, <laughs> I, I don't remember. Uh, but now I, I can watch a video and get choked up pretty easily. So I don't know if it's, uh, you know, if it's something that comes with being older or, or, or whatever. But I agree. Um, I agree. Yeah. Emotional mess <laughs> all the time. Well, you're a woman. Oh, how dare you? <laughs> I apologize. It was a joke. No. Um, now, mate, uh, this is a, a, a small side tangent, but I can't help but be drawn in by your tone of your voice. I think it's fantastic. Now, Kaz and I, are, we're writing a sitcom at the yes, moment. It's called Turn the Light On. Um, Save the Light, sorry. What, what's it called? A-Lifts. A-Lifts. <laughs> No, we, we, we've changed the name to Save the Light. And it, forgive me, the code name is Bailiffs, and it's about um, a, a group of bailiffs connected to a mental health hospital and the, and the connections between the characters of people who are... Um, do, you, do you have the word bailiffs in America? Bailiff? Bailiffs, yeah. yeah. They're people that come to your house and repossess your belongings if you don't pay your bills. Well, here in America, a bailiff is somebody that works in a courtroom, typically. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So yeah. in the yeah. UK, they're, they're a group, they're a company and association. They're a, uh, a type of person who goes into people's houses that are debt-stricken and uh, will repossess your property if you don't pay your bills. Oh. So it's, uh, it's the connection between that and the mental health hospital where the people end up because they lose everything. Anyway, small tangent, but um, th there's there's going to be elements in that sitcom where we I think we would need a narrator, mm -hmm. someone to paint the picture. Would you be open to something in the future? Absolutely. Oh, fantastic. Oh, absolutely. Like I said, I'm open to I'm open to any and all opportunities. I, I would love it. Oh, we'll definitely you, keep that in mind. Are you familiar with uh, Gavin and Stacey? Have you heard of Gavin uh, and Stacey? It's a TV show in the UK. You know James Corbin? No. Late, late show. Oh. Yeah, oh, of course. Yeah. yeah. I know he's moving back to London. No, he's come back now. But have you heard of the um, sitcom that he did in the UK called Gavin and Stacey? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I saw a profile on, on him. And right, right, right. Yes. Right, so I now remember. Similar vibe to that. It's going yeah. to be a comedy, but with some hard hitting emotional stuff as well. So anyway, when, when, when we finish <laughs> the script, I'll hit you up and see if you're interested. Yeah. Absolutely. No, I could record it here and send you, you know, that's what I do. I record here and, you know, thanks to technology, you can send files all, all over the world. Indeed. Incredible. Indeed. That will definitely keep you in for that one. That um, would be great. Um, Anthony, where can people find you? What are your social channels? If people want to get in touch and book you or find out more about you, where can they go? Well, uh, my website is um, Anthony Powell, Inc. Inc com. Anthony Powell, Incorporated com. That's probably the best way because I've all got I've got my um, social media and email. You know, there's a contact form on there. Fantastic, so brilliant. Fantastic. Yeah, AnthonyPowellInc.com. AnthonyPowellInc.com. We'll put that on the screen as well, and um, we'll. No, I appreciate the that. No, mate, we really, really appreciate your time. Uh, is there anything else you want to no, ask? No, there's nothing I want to add to. I just wanted you to know how incredible the video was and how much we enjoyed it. It was fantastic. Thank you. Well, no, I, 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 I was really struck by your both of your reactions. I could tell that it, that it really impacted you, and and I, I appreciate that you, you know you're taking the time to watch it and your honesty and your reaction. Thank Brilliant, you. mate. Thank you so much. What we'll do, mate, I'll, I'll edit this together and we'll probably put it on probably for Monday, Monday coming. So what's that? Four or five days time. Um, it'll be at 7.30 PM, PM here in the UK and we'll put it up as a, as an interview video on, on the channel and we'll put it on all our socials as well. And we'll make sure we'll, we'll try to give you as much exposure as possible. Oh, I really appreciate that. Really appreciate that. Pleasure talking to you guys. No, likewise, Anthony. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, no, thank you. And hit me, hit me up when you write the screenplay. I will do. do. Yeah, we will, will do. do. Mate, all the best. Take care. Okay, thank Take you guys. Thank you. Bye bye. Take it easy. Have bye. a great day. Bye bye.